It was a drug given to Canadian soldiers fighting abroad decades ago. But now these veterans say the prescription that was supposed to protect them from malaria instead caused some severe side effects. At a town hall today, about three dozen veterans and their families showed up to hear more about an upcoming legal challenge that promises to hold the Canadian government accountable. I experienced vivid dreams, disassociation, insomnia, interpersonal problems, mood changes. I had issues with uh, anger management and hypervigilance. John Dow says he was forced to take mefloquine as part of a clinical trial he never knew about when he was deployed to Somalia back in 1992. Brennan Kett was just 22 when he took the anti-malarial drug before deploying to Afghanistan in 2007. It was given to us almost like an issued piece of kit, and uh, we never had that sit-down, face-to-face talk with a physician that was supposed to happen prior to the uh, administering of the drug. And for Captain Philip Brooks, a decorated member of the Royal Canadian Air Force, the pills he says he took before heading to a mission in the Congo that was later cancelled have drastically impacted his health. And I recall distinctly all of a sudden having, they describe it as night terrors. I had no idea. I'd never had them before. And all of a sudden, I just felt like something was going to come to kill my family and me in the night. And I've suffered for a long time. Without properly understanding why or how to deal with it. And now that I do, it's much easier, even though the symptoms are advanced and I'm not in good shape. These men are community leaders and some of the biggest advocates in Canada attending a town hall hosted by two law firms inside Legion 139 in Mississauga, just west of Toronto. The veterans say the drug was given to approximately 18,000 people deployed to various countries around the world. Decades later, allegations that the pills have had debilitating mental health impacts, side effects like anxiety, depression, and night terrors, to name a few. Is there enough evidence out here, and has it been acknowledged that this is a dangerous drug? Yes, based on the fact that other countries uh, stopped giving it to their armed forces. There is now Health Canada put a black box warning on the drug a number of years ago, and it is now a drug of only last resort to be given as an anti- anti-malarial drug because it is apparently so dangerous. To me, that's pretty good evidence. In recent years, several countries have reviewed the use of mefloquine in their armed forces at the urgent request of veterans and advocates, including in Australia, Canada, the United States, United Kingdom, and Germany. Officials from the Canadian Armed Forces did not respond to our questions about the legal challenge or these allegations. A statement reads, quote, The use of medication to prevent malaria is a critical part of the protection we provide our troops. The approach in the CAF to protect our personnel against malaria has included mefloquine as one of the medications that we have recommended and used since the early 1990s. This is not the first time legal action has been filed over mefloquine. In 2018, a case was dismissed for delays. The stance that uh, the government has taken on this and just to push it aside and let the veterans fend for themselves. The lawyers here say they're hoping to file the first few cases within the next four to six weeks, but there's no timeline as to how long these cases will take. It could take months or years. For City News, I'm Faisal Amin.